everyone, TA Sam here again, and today we're going to go over how to uninstall MATLAB. Uh, as in the last video, we went over how to install it. So as you can see here, I have 2019B open, and we just downloaded 2020A, so I want to remove 2019B off my computer. So it's pretty straightforward. What you're going to do is you're going to go over to your, um, it's called uh, Apps and Features. So you either go in your settings and do that, or you literally just type in Apps and Features. There you go, right there. Um, and that'll bring you right here. And you're going to scroll on down until you get over to your MATLAB. So you can see right there, there's a 2020A that we just downloaded. Previous version, click the uninstall, and then you just go uninstall. And then it's going to do its thing, and you just let it run for a minute. And then it'll be off your computer. So really quick, really easy. Uh, I recommend taking off the old version after you install a new one. Sometimes it can cause a little bit of a bug functionality. Um, there you go. So it's going to give you a um, whole list of products you can select from. So you can see those are all the ones I had downloaded previously. And you can even uninstall your preference files. Um, but if you want to, you can actually load those into your new version. So it's up to you whether or not you want to install those. I'm going to personally not. And then, oops. So make sure you close out MATLAB beforehand. Let's try that again. There we go. So it's going to take a while. It's a pretty big file, so you're actually clearing up a lot of disk space if you're concerned about that like I am. Uh, and as I was talking about previously before I was interrupted, it can cause some like bugginess between the two apps. If you're trying to open up one program, uh, it might auto open in one of these or it might you know, be running in 2019B, but then you might call upon a different file and then it tries to open up 2020A. So, you know, it, there's really just no reason for keeping the old program on, so I recommend removing it. So we're gonna let us do this thing and I'll come back to you. After what I think was somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes, you can see, yeah, on installation complete, go with, uh, oh, there we go, finish. And don't do this. Um, Let's see, just gonna make sure I don't accidentally hit it. Yeah, I'm gonna go with no, because I don't want to deactivate. And then just close it out. And you're good to go. All right, I hope this was helpful. And as always, you know, leave me any comments below. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to help. And, you know, subscribe, like, share, whatever you want to do. Uh, you know, it's a YouTube video. Okay.